that's left in the pool for Team Liquid. You need a hero that actually focuses on shutting this order down because you that actually their best initiation right now is right here with a good snowball play, but they're going to be running a lot of members in the Alliance. They see Loden now, start off with the Ice Shards play. They do successfully block him out, beautifully played there. And Jared, I mean, this is why he's known for his Tuscar play. First blood. So first blood. And it's going to be, he's just going to wait for the next creep wave here. So this is pretty good. And it's just going to be a lot of help for him to secure most likely the level two if he can get the next wave in. Did they find the ward? Yeah, they're going to find the ward here. Kabop searching desperately. <laughs> yeah, he'll find it eventually. Oh, Unfortunately, it's just that one tree that blocks his vision oh, of this area. That's... Oh. Okay, it's like, here, let me show you how to do it. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll find got it a for you. <laughs> oh, no. As you said, not getting the tombstone, putting a lot of pressure. If he maybe had a mango, he could have made something happen. They're going to snowball in on mid lane, both of them. Uh, they don't have enough for the ice shards, though. Jarek's just threw that one out. Maybe they can still get the kill. S4, he's going to be run down by Fada. Gets the kill on the end. That is now 3-0 to zero in their favor of some certain downsides to it. Uh, Vana battling Admiral Bulldog for the rune here. Will be able to successfully chase him away. And picks up an illusion. Ice Shards actually blocks Ake out. There's going to be yet another kill. The Kinetic Field makes sure that Ake's not going anywhere. And a killing spree already four minutes in for Fada's Rosen. I wonder how the game would have shaped. Some of it, it looks like they're also going to be able to push down the tower first. Jarek has to snowball himself to the side. He got himself perhaps too aggressive. As now Alliance are going to try and TP in and punish him for that play. It was a pretty heavy cost, though, from Alliance rotating their jump, moving that amp damage. Yep. Couldn't agree more, but since they finally rotated Bulldog down, he's level 4 now. Oh, White Shard snags out S4, and this is going to be the problem with that Cold Embrace. Yeah, it's going to be able to buy S4 time, but the, all the meanwhile, Fada's actually taking his damage. Lona doesn't care, though. He's got pure magic damage coming out from that Rocket Barrage, and he might just be able to get Jerex as well. Jerex, yeah, he's in range of that Rocket Barrage, and he will die. Double kill going to Loda, who's just kind of moving around, bouncing from lane to lane now as this Gyrocopter, but it's working. Oh yeah, this time it's paying dividends, and it's just nice to see him. Normally, you sometimes see not phase. Oh, back. my control! He gets hit by a big new coming out from Ake. That was perfect timing stun. The solar rift still gets laid out. He doesn't have any magic wand charges though, and Bulldog will pick up the kill with the stun. The TP in coming in though. Jarek, he can block him out with the ice shards, and that should ensure the kill unless the shallow grave comes out. Now he's got to try and make the the snowball play and get him. No, he lets him a little bit too early, but still gets the kill. Fortunately, Bulldog didn't have the crush ready to go. The courier and coming. They're going to try and catch it out here. They saw Kabob though, and Kabob doesn't really have a way out of this. He can go into the tree somehow with Arctic Burn, but they have the vision thanks to this lightning coming out from Kuro. They'll have the control as well with Glimpse and Kinetic Field, so Kabob is going to be caught here just trying to stall the inevitable at this point. Tries to go for the TP out, has the snowball, they get to stop. Oh my god, they didn't get for the Glimpse! Holy cow, that was actually too close for comfort there. Liquid, what should have been a free kill, was almost not. I mean, they wasted like three extra spells that they didn't. It looked yeah. like, uh, I don't know what was going on there for me, but they will be picking up a... Oh, oh not too. He's out of mana until he bottles up, does get the doppelganger out. And Roll Bulldog has another crush, but he's got to play this careful. We get hit by a lance. Matu's still gonna be run down. Loda, he can actually pick up this kill. Vada's gonna come in though. Oh no, he's got a haste room, but nice. A TP out from Loda. He's rotating up to the top lane. Big top. The Madro Bulldog's not as lucky though. He cannot sprint away from that hasted Fada. S4, he knows. Fada wants this tower. He's gonna try and catch him out with a shackle shot. Oh, he had the line up. He actually gets the deny. Now pops his head out. He's gonna just try and stall Fada as much as possible for the rest of the team to come in. Loda's here. They got the shackle shot. Fada is now surrounded by three heroes and he will die. Power shot misses, doesn't really matter though. Great bait from Alliance, but middle lane. Be able to uh, fight this or maybe just get the tier one tower denied. Matamba Man throws some illusions out. Hoping to be able to zone back Alliance. Catch S4 with the ice shards, but again, it's just to make sure they get this tier one tower. Now they're gonna be able to get Phillips back, back into the ice shards, that'll ensure the kill. And unfortunately, that's just gonna be completely ineffective towards two end. And that's what they really need. Him as their initiator, once he gets that, we saw what happened last game with the crushes, so maybe he can be the savior again. Loda is very far out. He is going to be absolutely dead here. 
Glimpse back. They have the Tombstone out. Winter's Curse does find him some time. Maybe Mind Control's gonna go down. Load actually being able to get away. The Lance comes in, but he still managed to survive. It's two supports down. Load is gonna be chased by zombies. Matumba Man, he just needs one more Lance, but all the time he's sticking around is buying more and four time to get damage on him until the Razor comes in, and that'll definitely offset the advantage they had. He'll chase down S4, make sure that he teams Glimpse, down. Matumba Man gets the other kill, and they get the glimpse on S4 as well. Three go down in exchange for the two. The I think the biggest thing, though, for Alliance is that one good thing is there's no... Oh, the turnaround. They have the Tombstone out. Just going to buy time to kill the Tombstone, it seems. But it is level 4, and it's going to be hard. Kabob, he's actually in range of that Tombstone. Now they're going to glimpse Gyrocopter back into the Tombstone with the Static Storm, ready to go. Kabob, he's actually still surviving until an Ice Shard comes out. Finish them off. Loda is able to battle it out against these heroes until Fada shows up. Once again, Fada is the hero that makes sure that Alliance have to retreat. They won't be able to get unless this ice shards. That's good block out. They have another glimpse. Lotus brought back in. Three oh. maps up from Admiral Bulldog. That's gonna sure they three go down to the shell trade where Lotus keeps them alive. Alliance go too far. And Matsu now shows up, gets uh, at least a purge onto Admiral Bulldog. But it's uh, really Lota that they want to be able to getting the defusal and mana burned because the PLs are just gonna be on top of you the whole time. Well, uh oh girl. Okay. The best he can do here is maybe control Admiral Bulldog long enough there's a return kill. He does get the Soul Rip, but eventually he'll go down. But he got the control out, and the Admiral Bulldog, oh, he gets hit by the nuke and goes down. Aki will TP out, though. Adam. They do not have a Blink Dagger on Tuscan. Surprising to see what he will go for since, yeah, we have Mind Control going for that mechanism. He's kind of far off, too. Oh, Ooh, Loda! He's actually in trouble here. Matsu's just going to run him down. He's completely out of mana now. He buys the rest of his BKB, though. That's critically important. Yeah, and you can understand. And that's the one thing that actually allows them to do Roshan relatively early like this. In fact, Alliance aren't even going to make it in time. They just already picked up by Matsu and Jerix. He was scouting the mini. Oh, Bulldog. Could be the first one caught out here, or he could break the smoke. They have vision of him. Oh, poor dog. Ice shard. Doesn't quite fully block him out. He will be able to get some distance. Now the Dryarkov girl thinks it's going to be thrown down, but still the snowball goes right on through. Fawn is the target of the Winter's Curse, but they want to get Jarek's first. With the Amplified damage on him, they should be able to claim that one kill, but S4, he's already going to be taken out by Matsu, and the rest of these supports are just going to be food for Matsu to go through. Admiral Bulldog's going to be his first target as he slows him down once again with a purge while the rest of the team takes control of a lion by himself in this top lane after that bad fight one would be able to make the most of it with farming maybe caught by Jarek's or maybe not glimpse back snowball buys Jarek a lot of time and will be able to get away they forced a lot of rotations but Fada was coming in through from the middle lane but he gets hit by the rest oh of the lions who all teeping into that tier 2 tower and he overextends the item yeah normally when you get shivas it's for you know illusion based heroes or if you're, you already have eggs shivas and fresh something like that but in this line, eh, who needs that? Who wants uh, to be blinded? Is it the X just... Oh, oh wow. nice Manta dodge at the my turnaround. Dog. Admiral Bulldog, you pay for that mistake. Oh my. Man. Now they're going to be able to get the glimpse back on S4. Oh no, he's going to try and go for the TP out. They have the snowball safe? No, they don't, but Maku's just going to turn on the Ake and get him instead. Jarex has come forward with his snowball that was placed on S4. Helped out Matu a little bit. Matu just keeps on going with that Aegis. He's going to be able to help get Kebab and Loda chased away. Glimpse, lots of EKB. Mata is going to be forced back, but his BKB will make sure he stays alive. Matu, he's going to die here on the front lines. He starts going for S4. Doesn't mean he's going to land. S4 just the power set. He dies! And Matu actually stays alive the rest of the team. He the gyrocopter. What the hell 20 just HP. happened? He had Aegis, but still 20 HP. <laughs> That's pretty much game. Yeah, now Matsu's going to go up to full HP with that Aegis still intact. And uh, Team Liquid. Now, Alliance have nothing nothing really more to give. That, that, you're not, you didn't kill the Aegis on the Tumba Man. He's got 5.5k gold. Oh, oh that's the just death. dirty. That's, dirty. The, that's the death glimpse right there. As soon as you spawn, you have five seconds. If you get glimpsed during that period of time, you'll be sent back to where you died. Thanks, Purge. Uh, I'm gonna look back. It looks like from the five minute mark. I forgot Matu still had that Aegis, so. What, 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 what yeah, do you do? He's just, he's just like sitting on the front lines, chilling. No HP, no mana. At least I called the Scotty. That's the only thing that matters. <laughs> True. Uh, it's nothing, nothing matters anymore in this game. Or does it? They're gonna kill him. Die! Matu. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you, you just want to no die mana. so you can have mana back. I know.
There's that AC jump in. Admiral Bulldog hoping to be able to fight an opening on the Undying, but he's met with an ice shard as he can't escape. Now Mazu's just going to jump over the cliff, look for more. He tries to catch Kebab. Does get taken out by that split to blast, but Kebab is going to be stunned up and taken out as Matsu now revives. We'll hopefully be able to catch out Loda as that BKB starts expiring. I'm just waiting for the white towel. Mercy. Yeah. Mercy Alliance. Alliance are going to be waving that flag anytime soon now. As Next lane of Rax falls. Matsu is unstoppable. They got the Scotty. They got the AC. Ice Shards just blocks Loda in. They're going to wait out the Shallow Grave. They got plenty of time to kill him with this kind of positioning. They go for the supports first before they take out the Gyrocopter. And Loda at this point, the rest of his boys, they know it's over. They probably knew it was over for a little while now. They finally called the GG. Hopefully, just discussing what's going to be happening in game number three because. We're going to be heading to the full series here. Yeah.